ape trafficking. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. what? It, apes are being trafficked. Um, so people are selling gorillas, them. Gorillas, chimpanzees. Uh, they're illegally being snatched. Um, baby gorillas go for tens of thousands of dollars. What do people do with them? They sell them to private zoos and people who just want to have animals in their houses. A lot of them end up in the UAE. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's very, very Private sad. zoos. Mm-hmm. People who have don't know what to do with their money and they like exotic animals. And so they own chimpanzees and even gorillas. It's crazy. I remember when I had Mike Tyson on, he was explaining to me how he got into uh, – Lions, mm-hmm. lions and tigers. And tigers, yeah. And uh, it was basically, I think, wasn't he saying that he was talking to a guy about cars? And the guy was, you know, like, what kind of cars he wants to buy? And uh, the guy was like, hey, you want a lion? <laughs> really? And that's yeah, how he Mike got into had, it? Mike had tigers. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, which is just insane. And apparently, when you have a tiger, the tiger will listen to you, mm-hmm. but no one else, mm-hmm. which is terrifying. So mm-hmm. you have this uh, enormous predatory animal that you don't let kill things mm-hmm. and has these deep genetic desires to catch yeah. things and kill them. Yeah. I mean, that's literally what – it's like taking I – mean, I mean, it's taking a, a creature that has a, a genetic propensity for a very specific thing and denying them that thing and then hoping that they don't revert. Yeah. I, it's insane. It's <laughs> Everything that's wrong. <laughs> well, it's crazy. Do you know that there's more tigers in captivity in I Texas do. than there are in all the wild of the world? I do. We did a story on tigers, too. And Texas spent... has the number one population yeah. of tigers in captivity in private collections. Yeah. It's crazy. We visited the Doc Antle. Uh, What's that? The Doc Antle. Do you remember? Do you, have you, have you, did you watch Tiger King? I did. So we were filming with, uh, we talked to Joe Exotic and Doc Antle. Do you remember Doc Antle? He Which was, one was he? Is he the guy that the ran the sex cult? the safari, <laughs> kind of, yes. Is he the guy, the weird the guy with several all the, wives the girls? Or girls. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the one. So we were filming that before Tiger King came out. Um, and actually, Tiger King was great because a lot of people wanted to watch our doc because Tiger King became so popular. But we did, yeah, we did an episode about that. And the, the it all started because the idea that there are more tigers in captivity in the United States, I, it, in Texas, to be even more precise. I didn't know that it was just in Texas, but well, in the U.S. Well, they have them in Oklahoma, um, but Texas yeah. has some pretty wacky laws yeah. when it comes to the ownership of animals. Yeah. There's a... a in many ways, it's a success story for some animals. Mm-hmm. Like there's animals like oryx that are um, endangered in their natural habitat mm-hmm. but are prevalent and hunted in mm-hmm. Texas. Mm-hmm. It's very strange. Like uh, I went to a ranch in South Texas recently to uh, hunt a uh, wild white-tailed mm-hmm. deer and an animal called Neil Guy, mm-hmm. which is an Indian animal mm-hmm. that uh, evolved around tigers. This is a crazy animal, really bizarre-looking animal. But um, they're all over the place. They have so many of them here. And um, they, they just have these enormous ranches, tens of thousands of acres. And they have all these animals from other countries there. Like you, we were driving around. We saw Letways oh, wow. and, and um, uh, Oryx and mm-hmm. all these like bizarre mm-hmm. exotics. that They're all over Texas. Mm-hmm. And the thing about them is... There's no uh, hunting regulations in terms of like wildlife conservation will put limits and tag limits on animals Mm -hmm. because they're controlling the population and they want to make sure that the populations are healthy. And so like if you're in an area, like uh, say if you want to uh, hunt mule deer in a a very uh, protected specific area, there's thousands of people apply for tags, but a very limited number of people get them, and there's a very specific area that you can hunt in. And th- this is all done, and that money all goes to wildlife conservation. It all comes, goes to park rangers and protecting habitat, mm-hmm. and it's a very successful and really well-organized and, and well-funded uh, plan. In Texas, there's none of that. It's private property, so you can hunt these animals 365 days a year. Wow. And they're owned by the people who own the property. Mm-hmm. So, and, but again, in many ways, it's a success story because by giving these animals value, they have an incentive to keep their population mm-hmm. strong and healthy. And so you have this enormous population of these exotic animals here.